Hello, everyone. Today we're gonna study types of pronouns. My name is Divini Soganiwa. Let's start. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of one or more nouns. Pronouns can be singular or plural. Generally, there are seven types of pronouns. And the first is personal pronouns. Then we have indefinite pronouns, relative pronouns, intensive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, and reflexive pronouns. Personal pronouns are those that we address the certain person. We know them very well, like I, he, she, it. That is why we're going to study deeply all the other types of pronouns. Let's start from the indefinite pronouns. What is this? And when do we use it? Imagine the situation. We do not want to indicate exact person, place, or thing. In this case, we can use indefinite pronouns like anybody, anyone, nobody, every, all, some, enough, many, much. Let's look to the sentence examples. So, Somebody ate my sandwich. Here, somebody is indefinite pronoun because we do not know who exactly has eaten the sandwich. Or, everyone says she is beautiful. Everyone here is indefinite pronoun and here we address generally to everybody. Next one. Does anyone know what's happening here? We address uncertain person, so anyone. We address generally, and this is indefinite pronoun. Remember all the types? We are moving to the relative pronouns. Relative pronouns refer for nouns, which are mentioned previously. It can be place, person, thing, or idea. They also are used to join two sentences, like who, whom, which, whomsoever, whose. Now let's look to some sentence examples. The cyclist who won the race trained hard. Here, who is relative pronoun, referring to the cyclist. So this is the reference for the noun which was previously used. And the next sentence, that, joins two sentences. The police need a detail that could help to identify the robber. This is the place where we met. Where refers to the place and joins two parts of the sentence. So, if we do not want to call and repeat the noun, we are using the relative pronouns. Let's talk about intensive pronouns. What are they and when do we use it? We use them to emphasize a noun or pronoun. They provide more importance to a sentence. Like himself, herself, yourself, themselves, or ourselves. He himself is responsible for the situation. So, himself is intensive pronoun. We are showing that he is responsible and no one else. Jennifer sued her dress herself. So, we are pointing that Jennifer did it. Not her mother, not her granny, but Jennifer. And the last one, we built a garden by ourselves. Who did that? We. So, ourself is intensive pronoun. Let's look to the demonstrative pronouns. They are really similar with the word demonstrate. And you can know that we are using them to point something specific within a sentence. 
They represent a thing near or far in distance or time like these, that, these, those, such. Here are some sentence examples. This is a white cow. We are pointing exact cow that is white. It is near and it is singular. These are my books. We are showing collection of books. They are near and they are plural. Such a pen cost two rupees. So we are emphasizing the quality of pen. Look at the examples one more time. And remember that they are intensive pronouns. We are moving to the interrogative pronouns. They are used for questions. To begin a question, it is used to make asking questions easy. You know these words like what, which, who, whom, and whose. Here are sentence examples. What do you want for dinner? Here, what is used for asking a person about his or her choice of food? Which color do you prefer? Is used for questioning about color preferences. Who is going to take out the trays? So remember, interrogative pronouns are used when we are asking questions and they really help us to build and form these questions. And the last type of pronouns, reflexive pronouns. They are object pronouns that we use when the subject and object are the same noun. They usually end with self or selves. Myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself. Let's look to the sentence examples. I asked to myself to calm down. Here, both subject and object are I. So, myself is reflexive pronoun. He baked a cake himself. The same, both subject and object are he. So, himself is reflexive pronoun. You are too young to go out yourself. And here, yourself is reflexive pronoun. What we learned in this video? We have covered all the types of pronouns with their examples. Please look at the table. You can pause the video. Feel free to write down. Thank you. The video.